Hi guys, it's Melissa from the Melmar Group, and if you want to find out how I save money on baked goods, stay tuned. <music> Okay, so hopefully you've seen my video about how I save money on bread and how I go to the day old, um, I buy the day old bread at a local bakery. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up here when that video is available and you can check that out. But I have the same premise for buying baked goods. Now, I have to tell you, today I was out driving around and there's this cute little soda shop in a neighboring town that everybody loves. They do flavored sodas. So they have great sugar cookies, great soda. Everybody loves them. And so there's normally a line wrapped around the building for the drive through Well, today there wasn't one when I drove by. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go get a treat for each member of my family. I'll go buy us each a cookie and we can have them tonight as a little treat. So I went and ordered four cookies. These are what I got. Two sugars, one with frosting and one without, a coconut pecan, and a chocolate chip. This cost me almost $8. The cookies were almost $2 a piece. Okay? I kind of cringed when I paid that and thought, hmm. Well, I also made a trip to the local cookie factory which is half a mile up the road. And let me show you what I got there for less than what I paid at Swig. A dozen chocolate chip cookies, a dozen sugar cookies, and two dozen snickerdoodles. I paid $5 at the cookie outlet versus the almost $8 that I paid at Swig for four cookies. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have 48 cookies than four cookies. And I'm gonna do a taste test video to see if there's that much difference in how they taste. But we've bought these cookies before. They're completely fresh. Uh, Walmart stores have them. They just happen to be ones, they're shelf stable um, for a while. I don't know if there's a date on here. Um, but they carry, Walmart puts their own label on them. And you can buy them for $1.25 a dozen. So we've had them before, they're perfectly fresh, you can freeze them, they're great. That's a great example of how you can save on baked goods. Now, yeah, would it be fun to go to the soda shop with your family and get a soda and a cookie? Sure it would, but I can spend less money and get a lot more if I'm just willing to find out where the deals are in my area and drive to the outlet store to get them. So if you're willing to go in and buy a day old product, you can get amazing things um, for a fraction of the cost of what you would pay for something at the soda shop or the restaurant or that cute little vendor on the corner. You can save so much money. So I encourage you to find out what um, places are in your area where you can get things at a discount. You might have a day old bread store. You might have a great bakery. You can save a lot of money and still give your family lots of treats that they will enjoy. My last tip on this, I have not done this, but these would be awesome to either give, I have given them as a gift before, but to put them on um, uh, trays at Christmas to supplement your other goodies, or if you were having a wedding or a party, go and get these for $1.25 a dozen and uh, make platters of cookies. I mean, my gosh, you could feed so many people. So I hope you like this video. I hope that you'll go and try to find the places in your town where you can find great deals. Stay tuned for my video where I taste test these cookies versus the expensive cookies to see if there's that much difference. And until next time, make it a great day. Bye.